There's the parking lot. You see the cars in it. It's like catching a glare. Oh, yeah, yeah. And we got to go down, down that. Yeah. And then back up that. <laughs> oh, that sucks. I'm less enthused about this trip. <laughs> Bright and early here at Albuquerque. You can see the sky behind me starting to get some color. It's about uh, seven o'clock. We're gonna depart. We got the pre flight finished. We've got some cool jets behind us. Uh, Cutter Aviation was awesome. Gave us a shuttle to the hotel last night. Got us all fueled up. So, one of the better big airport FBOs. Highly recommended. Got about a two hour flight up to Escalante today. And we're gonna hit the trail backpacking. There's the jet spooling up behind me. They're gonna to get to wherever they're going much faster than me. You're not gonna be able to hear me. So uh, let's just get the day started. Trying to Charlie Hotel to go down runway three, taxi via golf, Charlie Fox Trot. Three via golf, Charlie Fox Foxtrot to Charlie Hotel. Here in two Charlie Hotel, uh, if you wanna do Fox Trot six, uh, I can get you out first. Uh, Foxtrot 6 works perfectly to Charlie Hotel. To Charlie Hotel, runway 3 at Foxtrot 6, cleared for takeoff, turn left on 4. Runway 3 cleared for takeoff at Foxtrot 6, will turn left on course to Charlie Hotel. Alright, to Charlie Hotel, radar services terminated, Black Bay Fire and change to advisory, have a great day. We'll squad VFR change to advisory frequency. Have a good one, Two Trail Hotel. A nice hotel last night that Tommy hooked us up with with his points. But yeah, we woke up, called Cutter. They came, picked us up in a shuttle. Or just for that either. Um, uh, overnight fee was waived with fuel. Of course, fuel is going to be a little bit more expensive being at a big airport, but. Uh, you know, not too bad. Highly, highly impressed. Definitely recommend it. So we are on our way to Escalante now, not nearly the headwinds that we dealt with yesterday, uh, which is nice. So right now it's got us there in about another hour and 42 minutes. We'll get a car there that we got through Turo, like an Airbnb for cars. I had no idea that even existed. Um, but that it was nice to find because they wanted to charge about $300 a night to rent a Jeep, uh, which just wasn't gonna fly. So we're gonna pick that up and then make our way down into Escalante Canyon. So coming up on Monument Valley Airport, that's a private airport, but you can land there. You just have to arrange it beforehand. One way in on 1-6 and one way out on 3-4 because there is a massive mountain just to the south of it. That's beautiful though. I do want to land there one day, uh, but it'll have to be a situation where I am either by myself or if I go with somebody, I want to offload all of our gear because that's a 4,000 foot runway at 5,000 feet of altitude. So one as uh, much advantage as you can get as far as getting off the ground goes. I know, I was out there looking. I think 
It's right in front of us. No. No, I have no clue where it is. This is the hardest runway in the world to spot. There we is are. It, or there we are. Yeah. Finally. Four miles out. <laughs> scenic airport I've ever landed at Kanab last year was beautiful but uh, there's just something about this We're kind of more in a long valley uh, just absolutely beautiful so Tommy is going to go get our rental car on the boosted board because it's about a three mile walk so he's gonna take that I am going to Kind of arrange some stuff for backpacking and then we're going to hit the road to uh escalante river neon canyon we'll have to see how it does definitely hazy with uh, with all the smoke from the fires so it's going to kill some of the light but um it's almost like a soft light so it may open up some new opportunities it doesn't matter i'm here to have a blast just happy to be here so let's go have some fun So while I was here, I decided to put my time to good use and get my first shot out of the way. The panoramic of the scene you see behind me and straight down the barrel of the taxiway. It's just such a stunning airport with that in the background. And this, um, this light may not be great for reflected light, but it's so diffuse that Velvia is gonna work well on it. Fingers crossed. That's my first ever pano. Felt so weird to load film just in broad daylight. All right, we've got to go. We gotta pack up, hit the trail, but I just wanted to get this shot. I think that's gonna turn out really well. All right, let's go to Escalante. Egypt bench trailhead down into Escalante. It's a rough road. That was a really rough road. It's gonna give me pause before I think about coming back here again. I'll definitely do it, but yeah, it's pretty rough. We start dropping down off of the bench here, several hundred feet, and then um, across some poorly marked area 
to another canyon that we drop into. So should be fun um, today, the hike out in a few days, maybe not so much, but I mean, just look at that behind me. It is gorgeous. This is just, uh, the thing for this trip is just, I'm thankful to be able to do this. I might not have that great of an attitude Sunday coming out, but for now, I'm thankful to be able to do this. So, let's get this hike started. <laughs> overgrown once we get into the base of the canyon essentially we're at the confluence of the forks of uh, fence canyon next stop confluence of fence canyon with the escalante river pretty grown up down here all right, so we have arrived at our campsite, home for the next two nights, the confluence of the North and South Forks of Fence Canyon. Let me show you our campsite. Nice little sand bench just along the confluence here. Tommy's tent, my duplex, normal stuff I have, and uh, all our supplies back there. I had anticipated exploring Neon Canyon tonight but I'm just pretty tired. I got blisters on both feet which made the hike coming in even though it was downhill pretty difficult so uh, definitely not looking forward to two days from now when we hike out. But I will survive. Uh, the Escalante is very very silty so in order to filter water we brought a bucket with us. Fill that with water, let the sediment settle for about half an hour and then you filter off the top. That way you don't clog up your filter. So it's about four o'clock here. Uh, it's supposed to dip down into the 20s tonight, so everything, all my gear should keep me nice and warm. And we're just gonna relax, kind of recharge, get some calories back in us. And uh, tomorrow is just a day of exploring Neon Canyon. I'm gonna take the Golden Cathedral shot, just kind of want to see that. Uh, it was really, really cool to see it up from above today in the airplane. Um, maybe get a few more compositions uh, in the canyon and then uh, we're gonna wake up early Sunday morning and hike out just take our time and after that we'll go into Zion where I'm sure we'll have a day or two of photographing easy stuff because this will be pretty grueling so that's gonna be all for me for today thanks for following along and we'll see you again for tomorrow where we take some pictures. See ya. I kind of just stared death rays through the guy that was flying it. The wind is supposed to really kick up today and obviously we've got leaves back there.